Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting English lesson on our YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the wonderful world of informal letters and discovering who we can send them to and why. Informal letters are a great way to connect with people in a personal and a heartfelt manner. So let's get started. Plus, stay tuned for a special surprise at the end. So what are informal letters? An informal letter is a personal mode of communication that allows individuals to connect, share thoughts and express emotions in a casual and a friendly manner. Unlike formal letters, which follow strict conversations, informal letters are characterized by their relaxed tone and conversational style. They often involve sharing personal experiences and feelings with friends, family members or close ones. Informal letters offer a space for creativity and genuine expression, providing a heartfelt way to maintain relationships and foster connections across distances. Now let's find out to whom we should send informal letters to and why. First up, we have friends. Sending informal letters to your friends is all about catching up, sharing experiences and staying connected. A letter can serve as a connection when you are apart. Whether you are reflecting on past memories or just reaching out to stay in touch. Next, we have family members. Keeping in touch with your family through informal letters is a way to share news, express affection and let them know you care. It's like a warm hug in written form. Now let's explore pen pals. Sending letters to pen pals from different cultures or places is an excellent way to expand your perspectives. You can learn about their lives, share your own experiences and create lasting connections across the miles. Then don't forget about your relatives. Informal letters are perfect for sharing family updates, celebrating special occasions and passing down personal stories through the generations. It's like keeping a family diary in letter form. Next, we have former classmates. Using informal letters to recall those school day memories, catch up on life adventures and share your journey since graduation. It's like reliving the good old times with a pen and a paper. Last but not least, we have neighbors. Writing informal letters to your neighbors is a sweet way to exchange friendly updates, extend invitations or show small gestures of kindness. Strengthening neighborhood bonds has never been so heartwarming. Now we break down the essential components of an informal letter so you can write heartfelt messages to friends, family and more. Let's break it down step by step. Start with your address at the top. This is where your letter will be coming from. Next, include the date you are writing the letter. It helps the reader know when it was penned. Then, the salutation. Begin with a warm greeting like dear with the name to address your recipient. The heart of the letter is the body. Here, you'll express your thoughts share news or convey your feelings. Finally, sign off with a friendly closing such as sincerely, love or yours truly. And don't forget to pen your own name. This lets the recipient know who the letter is from. Now we are going to take a close look at a real life sample of an informal letter. By watching this letter in action, you get a clear understanding of how to structure your own heartfelt messages to friends, family and more. You can pause this video and take a close look at this letter and as we analyze this sample letter, you'll find key parts like the sender's address, date, greeting, message, closing and the sender's name. 
In this session, you are going to experience something unique, a dialogue style question and answer. Instead of the traditional question and answer format, we are going to bring this session to life with a dynamic conversation. Let's begin. Hi, I have a quick question about writing in formal letters. How do I decide whether to start with hi, hello or hey? Hello, that's a great question. In informal letters, it's all about being friendly and relaxed. You can use any of those greetings depending on your comfort level with the person you're writing to. Hi and hello are safe choices. But if you're writing to a close friend, hey works too. Thanks. That clears it up. Now, about signing off an informal letter. Can I use yours sincerely or yours faithfully? Good question. In informal letters, we typically use more casual sign-off. Yours sincerely and yours faithfully are more formal. For informal letters, you can use something like best wishes, take care, or simply cheers. Got it. One more thing. Is it okay to use contractions? Like I'm instead of I am in an informal letter? Absolutely. Contractions make your writing sound natural in informal letters. So feel free to use I'm instead of I am to keep it conversational. Just one more question. Can I use slang or informal language in an informal letter? Yes, in informal letters, you can use some informal language and slang, but be mindful of your audience. Keep it respectful and avoid anything too offensive or confusing. Perfect. Thanks for all the tips. This makes writing informal letters a lot easier. Before we wrap up today's lesson on writing informal letters, we've got a special surprise for you. In the video description below, you'll find a downloadable template that you can use as a starting point for your own informal letters. This template will help you structure your letters effectively and make the writing process smooth. Thank you for joining with us today for this English lesson. We hope you found it informative and engaging. If you have any more questions or if there's a topic you would like us to cover in a future lesson, please let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting lessons and remember, practice makes perfect. Keep learning and improving your English skills and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy learning.